Alright, so this latest video is an extension off of using everything with models. Um, going back a little bit to the table model, but also wrapping in the Q data widget mapper, uh, which I'll explain here in a second. So the basic premise of this tool is all about um, calculating your time that you've worked on stuff. So there's this little start stop and whatnot. But essentially to get started, you just go up to options and you add a task and then just go uh, something. So now across every day you have a task. Um, and your default your default showing is uh, the full week, but you can go to individual days. Um, so like Monday, Friday, whatever. I'm just going to show full week for right now. Um, you can go to the individual days and you can start counting time on that. So you do start, you do stop. Um, most likely you would use it on an individual day. Um, so you start, stop. Uh, now this is actually going to be hours when you're actually using it, but um, I'm, right now I'm just going to counting seconds, um, just so that you can actually get a, a visual feedback on what's going on. Um, but it'll actually, I mean it works both ways. Um, this is just a little bit more sped up. So I've currently we're 13 hours on Monday, so that seems pretty accurate. Um, and then I'm just going to add another task. So we have all our, all our tasks, and you can just go in and you can manually change them if you want to. Um, and you can remove a task, remove task three. Yep. And you can edit task. Something to be okay with that. So it goes across everything, edits everything. Um, now, if you're looking at this, it just might look like there's just a bunch of individual widgets. Um, and that there's not really any connection behind them, but in the background, I'm actually using a model that is drive that is being driven and vice versa driving um, all these values. So whenever you start up, um, it all gets connected in. So down here at the bottom, I have this display totals, which is actually connecting up to that model as well. So what we have, if we just set this to zero. If we look at Wednesday here, Wednesday there, setting this out to zero um, connects with everything here because all the model information in the background is all connected together. So anything you change here is changing the model, which will update this um, table whenever we see that. Um, right now, the way I have this structured is if you have zero, then this is then you have the whole line is black. It's really going off the totals. Um, so if you get a little bit of work in, you're in the red because you need to do more for that. You need more hours for that day. Um, then you get yellow. Then once you hit past green, um, and then if you manage to somehow mathematically work uh, what I do, more than 24 hours in a day, it goes purple because it's sort of saying there's an error there because uh, there's no way you work that many hours. Um, over here, this is just again another totaling thing. So you see your your task totals and your day totals. Um, but the cool thing, like I said, is just that all this information is getting fed back to all these individual widgets um, without you really having to do a lot of crazy extra back-end work. Um, doing this sort of stuff without models is ridiculously annoying. Um, because there's so much data management that you have to make sure it works. Um, and once you get to this point of having all the data presented here, getting it back into your actual usable tool. So like, let's say here I'm working, then I'm like, oh wait, I want to look at my totals. Oh yeah, I want to tweak something on Friday. And then go back to it, you know. Um, that is way more of a hassle um, without using some sort of model that's actually handling all the data and management itself. Um, so that's why I'm all for models. They are awesome. Um, but yeah, just, I just really wanted to show, like I said, a an actual tool that could be used um, in an environment, like any sort of work environment, to sort of store all your work on different tasks and whatnot. Um, that's using that model structure as a backing, because um, I I find that to be awesome. Um, and if you don't know why this is awesome, you haven't paid attention. Um, but it is. So. Um, I like my color display now. <laughs> uh, that was a random set. Uh, yeah, that's about it for right now.